Welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. We are entering week three of Vlogmas and I cannot believe it. So today I am going to be sharing with you my 10 favorite things from 2020. So if you've never seen one of my favorite things videos before, I do a monthly favorites video every single month. It's one of the last videos I do and I will share six of my favorite things from that month. Anything is game. And then at the very end of the year, I like to share 10 of my overall favorites from that year. Anything is game, but they've had to make a favorites at some point in the last couple of years. So I've been doing this since 2015. So I've got a lot of favorites that I can share. So I'm excited to share this 10 with you today. And I'm going to do this differently. Usually on favorite things, I do it as a sit down video, but I did my gift guide as I just kind of walked through the house and shared with you how I use those items. If you've not seen my gift guide for 2020, I will put that in a card above. It was my first ever gift guide and I think y'all really liked it and I liked how I filmed it. So that's how I'm going to do my 10 favorite things as well. So we're just going to casually walk through my house and I want to show you how I'm using those favorite things. So I'm just going to walk through the house and share them with you. So I already have a funny with you and we have not even started this video. You guys know I like to tell stories. Sometimes they get a little bit long, but I will tell you that two of the items that are on my list I am wearing right now. So we're going to start with those first. So we're going to start with my necklace and you're probably not going to be able to see it. I am going to zoom in on it, but if you can't, I'm going to pop in pictures as well. So my husband got this for me for I think it was Mother's Day. This is the up. See, let me see. I'm going to see if I can zoom in. So this is the Pandora grape soda up charm from Shop Disney and my husband got it for me for Mother's Day. Up is one of my favorite Disney movies and it is one of the Disney movies that I collect You'll see that in just a second when I share with you my um, bag that's hanging on the wall. So I just love it. I think I've worn it every single day that I have had it since May and I just love it. There it goes. So my second favorite thing for 2020 is my Apple Watch. It's very unexpected. I was not expecting to receive this. My husband gave it to me for my birthday this year. We were actually at Disney and he had it shipped to the resort and surprised me with it. I didn't think I wanted an Apple Watch until I got one and I love it. Now, if you're wondering, these little band buttons or they call them band studs. I think it's from Mouse on Main Street. How cute are those? I love to put little buttons on my watch, so I will leave that shop in the description below. So, my favorite feature of this watch is the ping feature. So, you can ping your phone. I leave my phone in random places around the house and I can't find it. So, there is a ping option on your watch. You hit it and your phone will start, start beeping. I can't tell you how many times I've had to use it. Then the second thing I like is you can actually do directions on your watch. So if you type it into your phone, it's linked to your watch. So your watch, you can just look at your watch for the directions and not your phone. And it makes it so much easier. So I had no idea I was going to like the watch as much as I do. But I can't imagine not having it now. So I definitely needed to mention it in this favorite things for 2020 because it has definitely been one of my favorites. Moving right along and honest time for y'all. If you notice, look, I'm just going to keep it real. I know this is a favorite things video, but look, I've got laundry over here. I haven't done it yet. I've got things I'm trying to sell. <laughs> I've got stuff is piled up on my desk right now that I just haven't had time to get to them yet. So we're going to talk about my be quick over here. I am a GGB influencer and y'all, I don't really exactly know how that even works. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to have a code or anything. If I figure that out, I will link it in the description below. But this is the Jujube Be Quick in the Disney fabric. And it's like, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but it's the Disney fabric. And I love this. 
on the weekends this is usually what i'm carrying so i will not carry my backpack so i do have a what's in my b packed if it can fit in a card above i'll put it there if not i'll put it in the description below so this is what i use on the weekend i just throw what i need in this and i go so it has been one of my favorite things i have used it every single weekend i used it when i went to thanksgiving at my sister's when we went out and about getting groceries and things this is what i took and this is my lippy clip i mentioned that in that gift guide as well so i'm not really going to go into details about this because you've seen it on friday and i've mentioned it several times i've mentioned it in a favorites video as well so if i have enough cards i will leave that favorite things video in a card above if not i will link it in the description below i think it was my october favorite things Okay, speaking of my B packed, here it is. So this is what I'm using as my teacher backpack. So I have done a video over this. I just mentioned it. I'll leave it in a card above. If I don't have enough cards, I'll put it in the description below. So I'm actually not gonna mention the backpack as a favorite. The fourth favorite thing for 2020 is actually in the front pocket and that is my Lug Splits wallet. So several of you, after I talked about this in a favorite things video, and I wanna say, I think this was the same favorite things as my Be Quick. So definitely check that out. I think it was the October favorite things. This is an amazing wallet. So I talked about it. I can't rave about it enough. I'm hoping that I get a new one for Christmas. I asked for the navy rainbow. I'll pop in a picture of it. I love the confetti inside. So hopefully my husband will get it for me for Christmas. So you might say, what is so fantastic about this wallet? Number one, do you see how small it is? This is my hand. That's how small it is. It's not big at all. So it can fit in virtually anything. It fits in this little front pocket in my B packed and it adds zero bulk to my bag. So also the best thing about this is it is RFID shielded. What does that mean? That means that if somebody has one of the fancy little devices that's supposed to scan your bags and get your credit card information, I have no idea what those things look like, but apparently they are a thing because many people have been victim of them. They cannot get your card information. So this is RFID protected. So your cards are safe. It is called the splits wallet because it splits into two. It's got two zippered sections. The first section is an accordion style and the second one looks like this so it's got a spot for your cash or your checks your cards and then your id so that is why it's called the splits wallet so you guys this little small wallet packs a punch you can put so much in this wallet and it fits perfectly without being bulky so i absolutely love this wallet and many of you that have purchased it have said the same thing so you guys lug nuts if you are a lug nut, I want to hear that in the comments below. Let me know if you are a huge lug fan because I know there are many of us out there. That is going to be the common question for today. Are you a lug fan? What lug products do you own? So this is definitely one of my favorite things for 2020. So I'm going to take you inside of our laundry room and we're going to talk about our detergent. So this is my fifth favorite thing for 2020. We have been purchasing this laundry detergent all year long. Now sometimes we will break it up and we will buy something different. Like I did try this, this is good too. So we're really liking this brand. Before this, we were using Method. And I just want to try something different that I could actually get at our local Walmart because where we live, they don't sell Method. So I saw, you know, I'm one of those people that looks at reviews. So I go online and I see this and it's rated really well. So I'm like, why not? Let's give it a chance. And I love it. This cleans our clothes so well. So we got the sensitive skin one because several people in my family have allergies and we like to use the sensitive skin and then I kind of broke it up to see if maybe they could use this and they hadn't had any problems with this yet. So I don't use this all the time, but I might mix it up and look, it's empty. I'm trying to get that little last bit out <laughs> before I recycle the container. So I just love this. This detergent is nice. It's thick. Let's see if I can open it. 
I'm not even sure if you can tell how thick it is, but it is a, th no, you're not going to tell. It is a thick laundry detergent. You don't need a ton and it washes very well. So when I shared this in January, I want to say several people told me that they used this as well and they liked it. So we've been using it since January, still going strong. Haven't tried anything else since because we really do like this. And this costs $11.97 where we are. And this is the 100 U.S. Fluid Ounces container. So my sixth favorite thing is in this messy kitchen. And it is up here in this cabinet. I'm actually going to talk about the bowls. These French bull bowls that I have mentioned in a favorites this year. So my mom got us, I think there's a set of six. I think there's one that's in the dishwasher. Yes, the orange one is in the dishwasher. These are amazing cereal bowls. So I had this set here. This goes with my Fiesta Ware. These are the Fiesta Ware bowls. These things are horrible. I'll say they're okay if you're having like chili, some thick chili or something, they're okay. But that is a horrible cereal bowl. I mean, so bad. And we've had these since we got married in 2007. It took me that long from 2007 to 2019 to find something different because I just kept putting it off. And then my sister found these on Amazon and she's like, ooh, I really like these bowls. They were twenty-something dollars for six, so my mom got them for us for Christmas, and they are amazing cereal and soup bowls. And here's what's great about them: not just because they can be used for cereal and soup, and the size, they're dishwasher safe. You guys know how I feel about hand washing dishes. I mean, look, there are my dishes sitting in the sink that I'm refusing to wash. I have time to do it, but I just don't want to do it. So it came in a set of six. So I got purple and green. It's like a lime green, a teal blue, yellow, pink, and then the orange is in the dishwasher. So if you're in the market for a good cereal bowl, we've used these all year long or a soup bowl, and they are wonderful. We love them. We've used them all the time. I mean, they're always in the dishwasher. Now we are in my bedroom for my seventh favorite thing, and you probably already know what it is. It's sitting here on the floor. It made my gift guide. Many people messaged me and wrote on YouTube that that was the most practical gift they had seen, and that was a great gift idea. And it's something that you just don't think about. This Anchor travel extension cord has been one of my favorite things so much that last week I ordered a second one So this is originally supposed to be traveling with me to and from and it did travel Thanksgiving as well every trip that I've taken this extension cord has gone with me. So it's compact it fits in my tech organizer my tech organizers. I will share those in January. I do have a new system for that so this thing is so great because if you travel to a hotel or a resort, they don't have a lot of outlets in the room. So this gives you more outlets and places to charge your cell phone or your watch or anything like that. So it has been so beneficial. It is one of my favorite things, hands down this year. And it is something that I just ordered off a whim before we went to Disney last year. And it has quickly become one of my favorite things. So now I keep it in here and I ordered another one so that I could keep this one and not have to use it in here and then in my travel bag as well. So if that tells you anything, I'm going to have two of these now. I highly recommend them. I think they would make excellent gifts. And it might be one of those things that Somebody may be like, why are you giving me that as a gift? And then later on, thank you for it. Because it has been one of the most beneficial things that I have purchased in 2020. And it cost, when I bought it, $22.99 on Amazon. Lord, that's what I get for trying to get something out of the shower to share with y'all. It just dripped all over the place. So, my eighth favorite thing, I took this from the bathroom, is my Acure Brightening Facial Scrub. This is amazing. I use this about two or three times a week, and it is the most amazing, is most amazing a word? I don't know, but it is. It is an amazing exfoliator for your face. And let me tell you this, 
it is a little bit shocking when you open it watch it's green so it does look a little bit like seaweed i think it is made of seaweed but my sister uses this after she saw that i used it she bought some and she's been using it ever since and look it made the allure beauty award best of beauty in 2016. now you can get this online you can get it at target i normally get it at target it's just great it's not too harsh on your skin so it's going to exfoliate your skin but not make it to where it's red and raw you know what i'm saying sometimes you can get stuff that's just way too much on your skin so i love this i don't use it every single day but i use it two or three times a week now we're in the bathroom to share with you my ninth favorite thing and i need to go in here look it's pretty organized still but i still need to go through here and kind of get do a good cleaning job maybe we'll do that during vlogmas so this is my section over here of lip products. You see basically nothing. So I've got chapstick in my nightstand. And then this is it. These are gentle lip scrubs that I use. That one and this one down here. This is actually for Kate's makeup that she doesn't even need anymore. Like I can pitch that. I'm going to leave it in here and we'll do that when we clean this drawer out during Vlogmas. That's a mirror. And look, this is it. So... This needs to get, I need to get rid of this. This is the Tarte Lip Paint where Bunny, Graveyard Girl, did a collaboration with them. That is old and needs, needs to go. I don't use it. This is it. I haven't opened this one because I don't know if it's too dark. I need to open it. But this is what I've used right here. And I asked my husband to get me some more for Christmas. It is Pink Nude. It's the Chapstick. Let me zoom in. So it is, let's do one at a time. It is the Chapstick Total Hydration. I have talked about it in a favorites video this year. Now Chapstick did send me this, but that's not why I'm mentioning it. I love it. So much I asked for my husband to get me some more for Christmas. This is Pink Nude. Here's the thing. It's Chapstick with a tint of color. See, moisture plus tint. It has a teeny bit of color. I don't like lip products. I just think they look amazing on other people. I think they look like garbage on me. So I just want something like chapstick that just moisturizes my lips but doesn't give me much color. That's why you never see me wear lipstick because I don't own any. And I don't plan to own any. Anything but this type of product right here. Chapstick Total Hydration. And this one is Warm Nude. So I have Warm Nude and Pink Nude. So that should tell you. <laughs> That's about as much of a lip product as i want and then this is merlot so i haven't opened that yet i bet that's really pretty i need to open it and see it's winter or getting to be winter so that would be perfect so that is my ninth favorite thing for 2020 which is the chapstick total hydration and my tenth favorite thing is laying in the floor and these are not the same brand of jeans. I wanted to explain and do a little demonstration for you. So I will tell you that both of these jeans were dirty and they were in my hamper to be washed. I didn't have any jeans clean to share with you from these brands. So these are the two brands of jeans that I wear. The only two brands of jeans that I wear. I've gotten rid of everything else but these. The Democracy Jeans on the left are what I'm going to talk about today. On the right, these are Wit and Wisdom. That is what I, what I wore until I discovered the Democracy on the left. Here's the thing. This is the same brand of pant. It's from the same company. Somebody confirmed that for me. But here's the thing. The Wit and Wisdom costs a lot more than the Democracy. Now, they are the same price listed at face value, which I think is like... $60, I think. Don't quote me on that. But you can watch the Belk website and you can watch Amazon and the Democracy jeans, if you can get them at the right time, are going to go on sale. I want to say I paid 20 something for these jeans here. I bought, I want to say four or five pair. When I bought this one, I mentioned it in our Facebook group. If you're not a part of the Golden Circle on Facebook, go check us out. Many of you that purchased these jeans based off of my recommendation in our Facebook group said the same thing when you got them in. Said they fit so well and they were amazing, especially for the price. The Wit & Wisdom jeans over here, and y'all, these are, these are two different colored jeans. Don't think that the democracy is faded. 
that's just the color of the jean. It's a mid wash jean, and this is a darker pair on the right. So, if you can tell, I am 5'8". These are supposed to be the same lengths. They're the same type of jean, but look, the Democracy one is longer than the Wit and Wisdom. So, if I'm going to choose just one over the other, I'm going to choose the Democracy. Not because of the price, but because I've got both of them in my closet, but these are longer than the Wit and Wisdom. So, it just bothers me sometimes, especially in the winter. I don't want my ankles getting cold. So, same jeans. These you can usually find cheaper than the Wit and Wisdom, and I like the fit of these better than the other. And look, you can tell by the, look at the tag. It's the same type of tag. They're the same, look, Absolution. So this is the eight in Democracy, so I wear the exact same size. Eight in Democracy, they are called the Absolution. And look, this is the best part of these jeans. Y'all, I am, I am knocking on 40's door. So, you know, those tight jeans I used to wear just cannot work. My stomach, it can be gassy. I'm not even going to lie. It can feel bloated. Like, I'm feeling good in the morning. And by the time I get home, my stomach may have, you know, swollen or swelled or whatever you call it. And it might feel just horrible. This is elastic. It is hidden elastic. You can't tell that there's elastic inside of these jeans. But... I'm telling you, if you try them, you won't go back to anything else. My mom and my sister now wear these Democracy jeans, and they say the same thing. So these, Wit and Wisdom, look, the tag looks very similar. Size 8. This is also Absolution. So look at this tag, and then look at this tag. They say, same company, just different names for, I guess, the different retailers that sell them. Same size jeans. I wear the same size in both of them. And they look almost identical. They're both Absolution. See the elastic on the inside. But I just think for the money, the Democracy is better, in my opinion. So I didn't just want to say, hey, I like the Democracy jeans and not share with you why and why I chose them over the Wit and Wisdom. Because the Wit and Wisdom has made a favorite things in years past, but then I didn't want to pay that price for them. And I found these and now I'm hooked. So I definitely had to mention these jeans in my 2020 favorite things. So if you've tried them, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. So those are my 10 favorite things for 2020. Y'all let me know if you like this style of favorite things better than the sit down. I like to do it this way, the vlog style. I'm really liking the vlog style videos lately because it just gives you a more personal look at me and, you know, items that I use. I'm sorry if sometimes the stories get a little long, but sometimes I just like to chat about things. So definitely let me know that in the comments below. If you've not become a part of our community, we would love for you to hit that subscribe button and jump on over to Facebook and become a part of the Golden Circle. It is our positive community where we get to know each other on a more personal level. We communicate, y'all. It's just a fun group. I love our group, so definitely become a part of that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Advent Calendar opening for not just today, but for the two days in the weekend as well. Because remember, I don't do Vlogmas videos on the weekend, so you don't get to see Saturday and Sunday's Advent Calendar opening. So that is what we're going to do today. So you'll get three days of Advent Calendar openings at the end of this video. Advent Calendar opening day 12. Oh, Lord, I'm into you. Oh, is that a is that an advent calendar dance? Okay. Kate goes first today. Did you is it another one? Oh, those baggies. Is it a stitch? Wonder if I get cold. It's a Mickey. Oh. Man, I was hoping you'd get a stitch. That's the whole reason I got that set. Every single one of them Mom, have been trainers. What's the other one? Because you got this already too, what's don't that you? Other yeah. one name? What's, oh. the, what's that other okay. one? Okay. Sock. What's that other one name? Oswald. No, from. Uh, oh. Kevin. No, not Kevin. Russell. Don't. No. <gasps> oh, those look cute. No, not Russell. Oh, not those Russell. are so cute. It was, not, it's not Russell. It's I don't. Not. Okay, it says. It's a man. 
badness level wow. usually unusually high. That is so cute. Those are so cute. Okay. Armani is participating. Man, we got a dance and now we got a song. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> now you got Carl, Russell, and Kevin. And it just needs Doug. Doug! That's awesome. Or you Doug. know I like it. Okay, now your socks, Talk day three. Wait, no, 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 let me do it. Let me do it. Oh, right over. Hold on, which one is it? Oh, this one. Do, do, do it. Good. You need some help before you rip the entire box. <laughs> Christmas Hold on. Oh. I'm struggling. You're so Wait, okay. I saw red, so it's TNT. Oh, it's the, it's the, let me see. Yeah, you have to tell me because I don't even it's know. It's the, um, it looks like, the, I think this is a mushroom cow. Mm, uh, it's a what? It's a mushroom um, cow. Well, we got to open these up. A mushroom cow. We're gonna check these out. Okay, a mushroom cow. I didn't know that was such a thing. No, it looks. Why is it red as chicken? It looks. Like it's a chicken. chicken. It looks like a chicken. It looks like boxes to me. <laughs> Can you just stop? We don't. We so we don't know yet. We don't. You don't know what this is? No, it looks like a red. Maybe it is a cow. Look, it looks like it's got a nose and some teeth. Um, this is pro. This is probably oh, that's a cute. this is probably a mushroom cow. A mushroom, a mushroom. A, a mushroom cow. Pickle mushroom. Y'all, I know zero about Minecraft. Okay. Hey, hey yo. What's now up? it's my turn. What's up? So let's go. Day twelve. Day twelve. A cherry blackberry spread. Mmm. We'll see. So far, I've liked everything. Now, I did try the pineapple, like I told y'all, but everything else has been good. Pear was mm, not my favorite, but I did eat it. So, we'll see. I like blackberry. I don't know about cherry, so we will definitely see. I will definitely be getting this advent calendar next year. I have been loving it so far. Advent calendar day 13. Thank you, Mom. Victory Royale. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Let go. Hold on. Royale. Okay, Derek gets to go first today. Really, we're doing a few of these on the same day. Yeah. <laughs> That's the same one he got. <laughs> I think you got the same set yeah. that I got. It, it almost appears like. Okay, so here's a, a trader for Derek. Uh, Ratatouille. I don't like him. Yeah, he's going to be a trader. Okay, sock for Derek. Day four. Day four, right here. Ooh. What? You think it's going to be the green ones? Yeah. Or if it is. Victory Royale. You got to be real careful with these. They're not real easy to open. Uh, nope. It's, it's looks green. Blue. It's it looks blue. Uh, blue. It's blue. It blue. It blue. <gasps> Let me it's see. green, too. Nice. see. Alright. It's a... Uh, Okay. Okay, so put that these under the tree. Go with this, and then these socks go with Yeah, this. they mix them up. So this one says eat, sleep, craft. Yay! I'm that look, eat, sleep, craft. That's what they say. Eat, How sleep, craft. Three. He's got three pairs of socks on right now. Okay. I love it. They feel cozy. Okay, put yours under the tree. Yay! But yay! The stitch pretzel. Now let me tell you, this came from Hong Kong Disneyland, so I had to buy this from somebody. Whoa. So super cute, and she's been wanting it for a while and could not find it. Okay. Whoa. Little bit loud. Is that what that says? That's. <laughs> oh, those are cute too. 
Oh, those are cute. What does Susie get for her pants? And these are super soft, too. Let me see. So that's what it looks like. There's stitch on the back. And then stitch on the front. Oh, and then it says up to no good on the soles. Cute. Cute. And Armani's back. Grapefruit dragon fruit spread. Okay, I'm kind of leery of this one. I don't know. We'll see. All right. We'll see if this is good. So that is Advent Calendar Opening Day 13. Advent Calendar Day 14. Our money's guys rope. Here he comes with his rope. What are you doing? Making a snow angel? Yeah. Okay, who's going first? Me. Okay. okay. You need scissors, don't you? Now I need the scissors. Thank you. You see? <laughs> Pluto ice cream. It is the Pluto popsicle. These are pretty big as well. And now day, what are we on? Day four? Day five. five. Day five of, no, yeah, we're on five. Okay. Ooh. Oh, crazy. Okay, let me see them. I'm, get, I'm getting mine on. Well, we got to see what they look like. Hold on. Okay, Derek got creeper socks. And he's already wanting to put them on. Pepper. Hey. Oh, got a duplicate. So we're gonna. That was my last one. Okay, so that means well, we got three. We got three <laughs> uniques and then two duplicates. So maybe I can find somebody online that will want to switch with you for the other ones. Cute. Oh, those are cute too. Little but loud. Oh, that's cute. Is it? Oh. Orange lim lemon. Lemon spread. That's. I think that's what it is. Orange cinnamon spread. Oh, that's a cinnamon. That's a C. Oh. Orange cinnamon spread. Hmm. That'll be interesting. So that is Advent calendar opening for day fourteen.